Welcome to Tropical 5 Sandbox, guys. About goddamn time, I hear you cry. Yeah, I know, I know. Now, this series is going to be very different from the first series. The first series was all about experiencing the game for the first time, playing through the campaign, seeing what it was all about. This series is going to be about pushing the game to its limits. So, it's going to be all about min-maxing, understanding the mechanics of the game, and about creativity. So, like, how do we create incredible islands with, like, I don't know, m like massive tourist islands? Or well, how do we create, like, a massive military base? Or how do we make a city that looks really, really awesome? So, what I'd like you to do, right? Now, I'm going to do the series, but I want you guys to do something for me. What I'd like you to do, take two seconds, right? If you like the idea of this series, if you want me to do this series... Hit the like button, and even better, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. What do you want to see? What like what mechanics would you like me to go into and explain? What kinds of cities would you like me to create? Leave me a comment. Regular viewers know. Not only do I read all the comments, but I reply to all the comments. So come on, guys, drop me a comment for God's sake. All right, let's get into this. So uh, I'm going to kick off. Uh, and like in this first episode, I'm going to show you like effectively how to create like a cash cow to get you going. So we're going to play through the um, the colonial era, and we're going to play on um, Isla Enorma, which is this huge island. Um, it is the biggest island in the Caribbean, and it's kind of got these like four crescent shapes. And it's um, it's kind of a really cool island to start on. Now it's not good for some things. It's not good for like it's not really good for tourism and stuff like that, but I think for um, for this first example, I think it's going to be perfect. And I'm going to be playing on very high difficulty, uh, both economic and political. So that should be a kind of a test of, um, like, are we pushing this game? So, oh, one thing, I'm turning off disasters because I find disasters don't add to the challenge they're just blooming annoying going around and finding all the buildings to to repair it's it's kind of a pain in the backside okay enough talk let's start building let's go okay so here we are on our island and it's a big one i mean look look at the size of this thing it's huge and uh you can see how this is shaped obviously one of the developers has got a breast fetish i think should be called uh, is that Ila Enorma Ila Enorma Bresta I think okay let's start this series off with a tip and like to be honest a whole bunch of tips but the the very first one is don't take this task yet okay and I will explain why in just a second okay but don't take that task all the other tasks you want to take them as soon as possible so you're going to have to keep an eye out uh, keep an eye on the palace. Whenever you get one of these, take it. New right. Palace. Build a sugar plantation. Mm. We'll accept that. Right. Now, we have um, about $20,000 to spend. Now, that's the $10,000 we have got, and we can go up to $10,000 into debt. And how we spend that $20,000 is very important, which is why we're not taking this task yet. But again, I'll come to that. The very first thing I'm going to do, um, and by the way, I am going to start using a couple of hotkeys for demolish and potentially road building. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to demolish these two curved sections of road. Now, this is a purely cosmetic thing, and it's just because they annoy me. <laughs> so, you could do this or not do it. It kind of doesn't matter, but uh, it really bugs me, so I'm going to do it. So I'm going to run this road down to here and just run it across. Now, when you're putting roads around buildings, try and take it out. Hit, hit, tip number two. Take it out, like, just beyond the edge of the building. Okay? If you take it to there, you won't be able to put a road down the side of the building. So just take it out just beyond the building, and then you'll be able to put roads down the side. So there you go. That's the first one. Okay, so how are we going to spend our 20000 Well... This is kind of important. The first thing I'm going to do, and a lot of people will probably disagree with this, but we'll see. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a construction office. And why the hell am I wasting valuable resources 
on putting in a construction office? The answer is we're going to be developing this pretty fast and I'll explain as we go through and I'll try and prove to you that this is a good starting strategy. Okay, so let's pop this guy in, right, and we set him to high priority. We want this to be the first building that builds. Okay, now the very first thing we need to focus on is bringing in cash. So let's talk profitability for a second. What are the most profitable buildings? What should we build first? The most profitable buildings out of the, the raw resources, which is pretty much all we can build at the moment, are the mines. So we want to get the mines built as quickly as possible. Okay, That brings me to my next tip. Right? Go to your corn farm and check to see if you've got a manager who's an inventor. If you have hire him at the corn farm. Now the inventor will start producing research points and how many points he produces is based off the effectiveness of the building and the most effective building you're going to have in the short term is the corn farm. So let's hire that guy and instantly it opens up our research. Okay. Now since mines are the most productive, uh, sorry, the most profitable buildings in the very early, well, in, in, the, in the colonial era, pretty much, uh, with one exception, which I'll talk about, we're going to go for mines first. The next most profitable, and we'll talk about this, uh, is, uh, is upgraded farms, certain types. We'll talk more about that. Then... It kind of doesn't matter because our research is going to be coming in thick and fast. So just take all the rest in order. Kind of doesn't matter. Right? And that's it. That, now that's as much as we can research. The rest of the stuff is, uh, is the next era. The World Wars era. Okay? So there's our nine researches done. We don't have to worry about research anymore. Very nice. Okay, let's start spending some more cash. Profitability. Mines can't do them yet. As soon as they become available, we'll start doing the mines. So, so what comes next? Well, upgraded plantations, but we can't upgrade plantations yet because we haven't researched it. So, well, what's next then? Ranches and lumber mills. Now, the problem with ranches is that they degrade very quickly. Okay, if you look at if you look at the the ranches, they will degrade by about fifteen percent per year, which is alarmingly fast. Okay, but for the initial getting started, they're still worth putting in, and then after probably as little as three four years, you're going to be tearing them down and replacing them with other things. Okay. Now, the most profitable of the ranches is the pig ranch. Now, ideally, you want to use land, like for your initial few ranches, as close to your port and your population as possible, so that people have got the least distance to travel. Okay. So, on this island, this area here is kind of perfect. Now, as long as you've got decent um, green areas, so productive areas, it kind of doesn't matter which you go for. Pigs are the most profitable, but the difference between pigs and cattle is, you know, minimal. And cattle do give you two food types, which is, um, it, which is kind of nice, but it's not desperately important. As you'll see, uh, once we get going... Happiness isn't going to be an issue, okay? But like llamas, I mean, llamas is cool. Uh, wool's not a bad resource to sell, but pigs is the most profitable. So we're going to start with pigs. Now we've got some uneven terrain here at the beach where we can't build, and it's it's just this sloped area here. So I'm going to find the first place that I can build, which is there it's just at the top of the slope and I'm gonna hold down the shift key for a change and I'm gonna put in one two now there's a mine here and I want to leave a road uh, space for a road here so I'm gonna leave a one space gap 
I'm going to put three, four, and then on the other side, I'm just going to check like what, like this is green enough to put pigs in, but is anything like a lot better? Yeah, llamas, goats is good, cattle is pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in some more pigs. Uh, again, as close to this as I can get them. So I'll put one, two. Um, you know what? I'll put three of those in. And then I'm going to put in... Yeah, cattle's green enough. Now the road for this is going to be up down. So I can put this guy just there. Okay, so I've put one cattle in. That'll give us the extra food source. So, looking good. Now we're down to minus one, four, 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 four. So we've still got like eight and a half thousand we can spend. Uh, what else is good early game? Early game, logging. Now, here's our logging camp, right? Banging a few of these in, early game is good news. Later on, they'll become less and less useful. And the let's let's talk for a second about the lumber mill. The only early game industry we get is lumber mill, which is unlocked when we research planks. The problem with the lumber mill is that it's quite a big investment. Uh, it's quite an expensive building. Your return on investment, so how long it takes you to, to, to get your money back, is pretty poor with the lumber mill it takes like close to two years just to get your money back on that thing by which time you know by the time you've got this in we're going to be we're going to be finished with the colonial era and then there are going to be better things that we can do like textiles or the, the, the cannery or something like that steel mill okay so lumber mill is something that i would suggest kind of don't bother with and, and like, unless you're doing it for um, aesthetic reasons. Okay, let's put some lum uh, some logging in. Now, we just want to put the logging in, like, wherever we've got dense trees. So we've got an area here. We've got an area here, area here, area here. But at the same time, I want to be thinking about my plantations. Now, we've got, like, massive areas here. Um... But we need to plan out where we're going to put stuff because we want to make best use of the, the territory that we've got. Let's talk plantations for a second. What are the best plantation types? Okay, the best two, and people will argue about which one is the, the, the absolute best. To be honest, they're so close that it really doesn't make much difference once they're upgraded. And those two are um, cocoa, which is my personal favourite, uh, or cotton. Okay. Now, the upgrade for cocoa gives you 100 e extra uh, effectiveness. The upgrade for cotton increases the effectiveness only by 20, but it reduces the number of workers that you need. And we'll talk more about the number of workers and how important that is. Now, I'm just looking down here. This area down here is awesome for cotton. So I think once, uh, once we're done with these farms, we'll be putting in probably a, a couple of cotton down here. Maybe maybe even another one just about there. Okay, let's have a look at cocoa. Now, cocoa is pretty awesome in this area, so we'll want to take best advantage of that. Um, we'll want... Now, we could put some in here, because it's pretty good over here as well. But I think we'll focus... See, it's... See, it's really good, like, all across this middle section. So I think that's the area that we're going to exploit. And we'll fill in with, I want one banana plantation just for the food type. I want one uh, pineapple plantation, again, just for the food type. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about that in terms of happiness when we get there. Uh, and also, you can consider putting in some sugar. Now, we need to put one sugar in anyway. The upgrade for sugar uh, makes all the plantations around it a little bit better. So what you want to do is put in a sugar plantation and then around it, just surround it with plantations. Okay. Right, so 
Now we need to put in a sugar plantation anyway and we want to do these tasks as quickly as possible so I'm going to put in one sugar plantation right just here I think now let's just check the cocoa situation yeah see I'm not going to put a cocoa plantation here because it's a bit yellow in this corner yeah so we can put sugar here and then we can surround it with some cocoa which will be very very nice so let's put that in double check that I did put sugar because I've got a horrendous habit of not checking what uh, what plantation type I put in now I'm going to extend this road up here like as like as far as it will go because I am going to do some exploring and if you're going to send your, your troops off in exploring try and put a road like as far out as possible because your troops will travel faster on the roads and you can also determine like which direction they're going to go because like if you send them off up into this di this area they won't go straight they'll follow the roads as far as they can go um, so they, they take the fastest route not the shortest route which is a, another little tip my god we're full of tips today right now I'm going to put some roads out into these um, forest areas and you know what I'm actually going to take out that I'm going to put this road in first across here and again I'm going to go out like pretty much as far as I can go there we go now I'm going to remember to put that construction office back in there and I'm going to set that to high my god I'm remembering stuff today impressive right let's run this road out here again I want to go like as far as I can go yeah that's as far as I can go and then I want to run a road down into this area as well so I think down here and again I want to go as like pretty much as far as I can go yeah that'll do okay this area here uh, I'm not going to I'm going to use this for uh, plantations so I'm not going to I'm not going to put f uh, logging in there right let's see what we can do with our logging camps so I want to go pretty much as far out as I can and again it, always always check your direction I'm I'm famous for putting these in the wrong way around um, oh and another tip it, one thing that used to annoy me is like once you select them you can't zoom in but if you hold down the alt key you can zoom in which is very very handy that's a good tip I think right so let's put this guy in on this side I'll be holding down the shift key while I do this spin him around I'm gonna put another guy See, that's not quite as green there I'm gonna move this guy over a little bit make sure that we're getting the the best productivity that we can get and then we'll come over to this side and again I'm gonna put in like as close to the edge of the map as I can one on that side one on this side okay now that's as much as we can do right we've spent all of our, our money we your limit is 10,000 so there's nothing else that we can put in but now we can go down here and we can take this task greetings old chap have I got and we can buy the platinum package today and we're able to go over our 10,000 limit so that's why you do that last because it allows you to exceed that 10,000 limit another good tip huh right because we've done as much as we can do now we can actually crank this up to uh, fast and the first thing that we want is for our construction office to build boom done now I'm just going to pause for a second because I forgot one thing like before I clicked off on uh, fast what I should have done was go to all of my existing buildings and control click on the budgets take them all up to max so construction office so we've got the the dock the construction office the teamsters office the palace and the corn farm 
Right, that's all of them. Now we can put it back on fast. Okay, as soon as it's done the construction office, we can start prioritizing the ranches. And the reason that I prioritize the ranches over the, uh, the logging is because these are closer to the docks. So the, um, the, the Teamsters are going to be able to ship this out to the docks faster than they are the logs. So I want these built first. Now as soon as the first one gets built, crank up the budget to max. And again, remember to cl control click. If you control click... Even though these are still building, they'll all build um, and the budget will be set to whatever you've control clicked to, if you follow me. Right, let's make sure we've prioritised all of these. Now, like I said, these buildings are short term. They will bring in... The, the, the highest profit that we can get from the buildings that we can get uh, at this stage of the game. But as soon as we've got plantations, um, plantation upgrades available, we'll want to start moving to those. Because um, these just aren't good long term. And I'll show, I'll, I'll show that. I'll show you that. It, it doesn't take long for these to degrade. And we've already started shipping out some goods, which is pretty awesome. 